It's a beautiful day and I am headed out to the garden. Hey everybody, it's Amanda and we have had some really beautiful spring days here and um, today I have a little bit of time and so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna head out to the garden and start getting the beds ready. We're probably gonna have a little more cold weather. Let's just be honest. But right now, while it's nice, it's a really good time to go ahead and prep the beds because I've been letting them sit over the winter and just they're covered with all kinds of leaves and grass and plants and flowers and all those things. So I thought I have about 45 minutes of my day that I have nothing going on. I wanted to get outside anyway, so let's do something productive. And I don't know why the dogs of my neighbors are barking. I have no idea they do that. But, um, but anyway, we're gonna go out back. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And we are going to probably work in the garden. I think the cats are walking by the dogs. I think that's why. Anyway, let's go out back. Well, the dogs stopped barking, but there's a plane over <laughs> Look, can you see Lady in the window? So sweet. Okay, so here are my beds. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't even know how many I have. <laughs> so the garden beds are back here. All right, so these two right here last night or last year we had um, cantaloupe and zucchini in these. And um, so they're got a little bit of coverage on them. Tuna came to say hi. And then over here, these two had tomatoes in them last year. And then these two had my kale and radishes and carrots and peppers that we didn't get very many, peas, all kinds of things. So these are, you can tell they're really covered and I've definitely got to weed them. And even the tiniest hint of our compost pile is over there. But do you notice that like right in between my garden beds is really lush and green? See how brown, green brown <laughs> green you know before we put the raised beds in we actually just had all of this tilled and had put some cow manure and some other things in it so rick and i are talking this year about actually moving the raised bed boxes over to this side of the house just closer to the wall itself and then actually just tilling this up again like a regular garden so that we can make the best use of this ground that we've put so much, you know, soil and preparation into. So even if I go ahead and clear out the weeds here, if we decide to move the boxes, we'll still need to tear all of the greenery out and uh, till all of this area. But, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how we're going to do it just yet. I got to wait to talk to Rick. So we're just going to go ahead and start pulling this out. I got to be honest with you, when I see grass this tall, especially this time of year, I'm kind of worried about snakes. But, you know, I have the cats back here, so usually when the cats are around, I don't have too much trouble with snakes. So hopefully we'll be okay. Anyway, and by the way, the pool, we had a cover on it, and the cover got, in one of the storms, it got blown in the pool. You can actually see where it was tied off right here. Um, yeah, that's going to have to be cleaned out soon. But anyway, back to the garden, which is my happiness. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling some weeds. You know what, because believe it or not, that makes me happy, but I am gonna go get some tools real fast. Don't judge my mess, but over here on the side of the house, over here on the side of the house, I found my big rake that I wanted. I found my little something, spade, something, whatever it's called, that I wanted. But over here, I also found the black fabric that I can actually, once I clear the um, beds out, I can put the black fabric over it that'll warm it up and keep the weeds out. So I'll probably be doing that here soon. And I found this, look, right by Toonie. I found one of these little um, black containers that I can start planting my seeds in. Rick said that we'd gotten rid of them all and I thought we hadn't and look, yay, I found it. So, all right, I'm gonna go work on the beds.
I probably should have shown you a before picture <laughs> that was very specific to that bed. But um, what I did was that I just kind of took the rake and raked up what was just kind of loose on top. And I thought that was kind of easier than, you know, digging around on my hands and knees in the whole bed. So now, and of course Toonie came to say hi, now I'm going to just um, go ahead and go by hand with the, uh, Toonie, with the um, other thing that I forgot what it's called and get some more weeds out. Tuna loves being next to me in the garden. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, I just cleared a little space because I didn't want to run the camera the whole time, but uh, I'm gonna go finish up. I wish I should have bought my gloves out, but that's okay. It's nice to get my hands in the spring dirt and it smells really good. So I'm gonna show you what I have so far and then I'll show you afterwards. There we go, see the spot I cleared? It's actually easier to clear the spots in the middle because it's softer around the edges. The the uh, roots have really gotten a hold so I'm gonna have to really dig in there but in the middle it's still very loose and easy to pull out so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the whole rest of this bed and that'll be my goal for today and maybe if every day I just take a little time I can clear all of this out in no time <laughs> so I'm done and I'm sitting here on the porch and that's how dirty my hand is and I think I did pretty good in terms of that because I didn't have gloves and so I limited it to just the one hand and of course Tuna had to be with me the whole time. Let me tell you something. I was really trying not to put my knee whoops. I was really trying to put my knee not put my knees on the ground because I didn't want to dirty my skirt. So essentially I was just doing like a bunch of squats. <laughs> and let me tell you something, that's a lot. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you from here what it looks like and I'm gonna get closer in one second. Look at the pretty brown dirt. Look, see compared to the others. And I think I did a pretty good job. It's not perfect. There's still some leaves in there, but I think as it sits here for the next few days, it's just gonna you know get get to where it needs to be a lot of those things that are in there will die out and it'll be easier to you know really make it completely just dirt and as soon as we get all of them done i'll go ahead and put the fabric on it i have to get the fabric pins so that i can cover it and keep it stable but i think it is going to be very very good here's an up close look at the garden beautiful next to all the green so there's a definite difference and that's big boy sitting over there but I think I did pretty good a lot of people ask me about the cats getting in the garden and the fact of the matter is they really just don't get in it too often <laughs> so it hasn't been too much of a problem for me um, but I mean I'm, I'm not gonna say that they never get in it um, you know, I think whenever you have a garden, you have animals getting in it, especially if you have animals, and it's just one of those things. Um, I've seen a lot of people, my husband grew up on a farm, and there were cats around, and they never really worried about it. They just grew their food, so I'm just going to handle it that way. But honestly, the cats pretty much don't go into the garden unless I am there. Partially because they do know that we will tell them to go over there. <laughs> but, um, but also I think that they prefer other because we have so many woods they prefer to go out in the woods so anyway all right well that is it for today that's my little garden chat i'll keep you guys updated on how everything goes because we're going to grow food this year guys hopefully more than last year it's going to be really good so all right you guys have a good day see you next time <laughs>